Hi. <laughs> I don't want to do this live. It's late at night and I, I probably look even more tired than I feel. I'm pretty exhausted. But I have to do it. I have to because, because of God and his rescue of me today that I had no idea. Now, if you saw, tell it like it is number 12, lost <laughs> and found. I wasn't really lost, but it was funny. Uh, you know something about my day. I was supposed to be getting prepped to go on a trip. And this other obsession about a pair of jeans came in and took most of my afternoon. And, and I even had trouble getting traction to get the work done, the, pro the stuff I need to do before the trip. Uh, and all of that was surging underneath. So let me tell you about it. I got a late start to my day. It's all right. It's Saturday. I was pacing myself anyway. I went into the computer to check email and do a few things. And it wasn't acting right. And it wouldn't connect to the internet. And I thought, something's really bad. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> calm down. The first thing, calm down. Now, this is an old trauma reaction response. It's just fight or flight, especially with technology. I'm going to die quick. Disconnect any thinking and run. Or fight it, how? No, it's too severe. It's life or death. If this computer goes down now, what will I ever do? And bam, I can't function. All right, breathe. Okay, Sandra, you've been involved in this before. What do you, uh, you need to shut it down and, and open it up again. And I did, and it was working, but it wouldn't connect check my phone. I've learned over these last four or five years from the guys at the eye store downtown Greenville. <laughs> uh, yeah, my phone was on online, but my computer wasn't. Whatever, this and this and this. It would oh, go down, unplug the router, and it's from the power, from the connection, wait, plug it in, wait, try to make something to eat. I think by then it was probably almost lunch and I didn't do very well. I had a light lunch because I couldn't think to do a proper meal. And and then I came upstairs and opened the computer to check on something, forgetting I was waiting. And bingo, it came back online and it was great. And I was just so pleased. Thank you, God, for rescuing me again. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. I have all access to all the things I need access to, et cetera, et cetera. And I looked for files and they wouldn't open. And the only thing I had access to was recent and nothing I did would bring it up or do or anything or change it. And I just thought, I'm gonna have to contact my techie friends. I'm gonna wait till Monday. I don't wanna spoil their weekend. I don't wanna fly off the handle with crazy things. I don't know what to do. What am I ever gonna do? And my mind started to solve it. I said, okay, huge education. Okay, Sandra, God has worked things out for you before. He's going to work them out for you again. You don't have to panic. It'll be okay. What are the things I can do? And I went through all my medical records to get everything organized and make sure I had what I need. Went through an old file and found a couple things I needed from there and put things together in, my, uh, on, in a pile on the floor as I get ready. And I did a few things here, but my my jeans, my new jeans were on my mind, as I told in the other, take it, tell it like it is. And I said, I need to get out of here because I'm not functioning very well with the packing and everything. I'll go take care of that and then I'll come. But I could tell it was, I was pacing. It's so interesting. I was pacing myself. I was keeping myself from going into a full-blown panic and calling out the cavalry and all this kind of stuff. Sandra, you're going to be fine. And I did the things I know I need to do. Number one is breathe and speak the truth to me. 
God is here. He's going to take care of you. He's been taking care of you all along, whatever that is. And when I was out for the two or three hours I was out, uh, occasionally a thought would come up. Well, you know, I could always take my old computer. Yeah, but it doesn't have access to the new documents at all. So that's not going to work. All right, this. Well, it doesn't matter. I can't deal with that now. And then I was even thinking about that and talking to God about it and saying, you know, this having the computer crash really jacked up. Hi, somebody's coming in. I don't know who you are, but it's the number one there. But having the computer crash it just has me everything completely jacked up. If I have to take it to the Apple store, they're going to want it for at least a week. And I need to, I have things I want to work on while I'm away that are very important. <laughs> and what about this? And you cannot, you have to focus on what you can do now. Okay, God, if that's what this is all about, having my computer crash is the best answer I could think of. And I have, I have backed it up recently, so I felt pretty good about that. And I just shut the computer and took off and did what I needed to do and got back a lot later, a lot more tired, and things I'm not going to be able to do tonight, I'm going to have to do tomorrow, and so on and so on. And I thought, you know, there was that one thing I wanted to copy and run off for tomorrow. I wonder if I finished doing that. I know I didn't print it. Let me go check. I opened up my computer and I said, I wonder if email's working because I, I wanted to follow up on something I was supposed to receive that I didn't. And yes, I from one of my email addresses to the other, I sent a message and okay, it's there. Gosh, I wonder if I did, if I, I didn't have the thing printed off that I need for tomorrow, I went into the email and copied it. I was able to go over and make a new document. And I thought, my computer's acting pretty normal. I wonder if somehow or other it got, it fixed itself or whatever. And I went to call up, uh, you know, my finder, my finder thing. And darn it, there it was again. It would only access recent and I thought, now that's the strangest thing. I was just assuming the whole thing had crashed. I, Well, maybe it'll be an easy fix, and I could take it to my techie friends, and they'll do some little thing. It'll be all set. Yeah, that okay, that could be. And then for some odd reason, I clicked on something on that little box. <laughs> and the whole list of my normal files just appeared. And there's a little icon there that says hide. Now, I don't know what the other option was, but I did not click hide again to see what it was. It just, all of a sudden, everything was there. My entire computer was restored, and I just sat there. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but, or if you heard it, but that was one of my early signs of the trauma fight, flight, freeze, thaw, and totally lost if I couldn't find something. I couldn't have access to something that I needed it right then. I had to have it. Otherwise, I would escalate and it would be crazy. And I never did that, even though that kind of possibility came to light. And I said to, and I said to God toward the beginning, okay, God, if you need to ramp things up, so that I can learn to focus on what I can do and let the things I can't do go, this is a perfect scenario. Let's just go take care of these jeans. And I also went to into Costco. To, I got gas because I needed it, which I wasn't going to do. But because I was going to get the jeans, I got gas. I went inside, and they didn't have the one thing I want for my trip. And I said, well, and I have to stop at Food Lion on the way home. And and when I was there, I saw the little sample size or individual size of that uh, treat, the snack I wanted. And I mentioned it. They said, oh, yeah, those are over on the wall. And I went and got that. I got the greens I need for the next few days. And I was just beside myself. Here was God walking me all the way through. I came in totally tired, but fine. And then on top of all of that, God heals my computer, heals my laptop, and I have access to everything I need for my trip. I lived through the whole day without panicking. 
Uh, if, if that isn't <laughs> a primary response to or, or a primary growth marker for the neuro pathways healing for my nervous system calming for the vagus nerve responding to the things that are true then i don't know what is it's the mind body spirit connection i'm just telling you from myself and feedback really from my clients lets me know there's something very special here i don't know anybody else that's that's found this particular connection the way i have so <laughs> there's my personal testimony to the healing work of God from trauma. Hope you have a really good sleep. I hope that you're preparing for tomorrow too, for, for worship. All right, tell it like it is. Bye-bye.